Hi everyone, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. Um, so I wanted to try to get a reading out for you guys for July. Um, I know I have the three month readings up, um, but I did have a little bit of time and I thought, let me just see if I can get something out for you guys, uh, just maybe some reference or something um, that you could go by. Um, so what I have here, the spread that I've created is the top row is all the kings of the elements, the king of pentacles, king of swords, king of cups, and the king of wands. And the bottom row is the queens. Okay, so if you guys want to put timestamps, that would be I would be so grateful for that. Um, but what I'm going to do is with each court card, I want to be able to see if I could pick up on the energies for each one. So if you're cross watching, listening for either the males, the males or the females, you can do that. Or if you want to listen for yourself, of course. And also if you, you know, for instance, if you're female and you have Taurus rising and you know, say Cancer, Venus, whichever, you can listen to all of the reading as well. Okay, so let me just shuffle a little bit with the cards. I did pre-shuffle, but I just want to do a little bit more for you guys um, just before I pull the energies out. And I also want to tell you, so this spread, or I'm sorry, this deck of cards, this is a new deck. Some of you may have seen it that I posted it on Instagram. Um, so it's holographic, and um, I just, I'm all about that bling. I just love that shiny stuff. And so this is the box. I ordered it from China. Okay. Um, if you're interested to purchase it, I, I suppose you can just Google it. I found it on uh, Al AliExpress. Um, so unless, you, but the only thing is the book is written in Chinese, so... For those of you who do not read uh, or understand the script, you won't be able to read it if you're starting out or you don't know your cards. But uh, if you just want to, if you're a collector of cards like I am, of course you could always just purchase it and just lay the cards out and admire their beauty. I truly, truly love them. I think they're so pretty. Okay. So, oh, and I'll, for you guys, thank you. I even posted in the community. Thank you so much for all the uh, congratulations on my son um, and their baby that's coming. Baby is due in um, eight weeks. So I'm so very happy for them and, um, you know, to have a new grandson. So again, thank you so much for all those comments. Very sweet. I know I'm rambling on here. I'm very sorry. You can even put a timestamp to start the video. <laughs> so, um, okay. Let me see here. We're going to start with the King of Pentacles. So let's see what is the energy for the King of Pentacles. That would be for Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo male. And so usually kings represent an older male, someone who could be in their 40s and up. Um, but if you have someone you're dealing with who's in their 20s, you know, this is just the energy, the male energy. So however you want to play it out, I'm not going to pull knights unless a knight shows up. Um, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it that way or pull children. This reading can be for friends, family, um, significant other. So however you need to interpret the message is up to you. Okay, so here's the King of Pentacles. So for Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, males, we'll see what the energy is. Okay, starting with the Page of Pentacles. So what's going on here? I feel like there there is some type of message pages of course they can represent young children but also they can represent messages or someone who's a messenger so this could have something to do with a young child who is also an earth sign or it's just someone that i tend to pick up on the page of pentacles for a young person like a child or a teenager is someone who's very studious or quite reserved. Um, you know, he's not, he's more, 
he's really down to earth. He definitely has that kind of energy. And so the Page of Pentacles in that sense is significant to this King of Pentacles uh, at this time, or at least in, this, in the month of July. Now, this could also represent the King of Pentacles himself behaving very childishly. However, in a more reserved type of manner. So if you think of certain children that you've known who who are very, uh, you know, pulled back with their energy, they're always studying, they're always doing something, they're always working hard on something. So it would feel like to me that the King of Pentacles could just kind of like be... May, I don't want to say acting childishly, but having this youthful energy about perhaps starting something new that's happening in his life right now. Something, this has a lot to do with placing high value on something, okay? Um, sometimes I look at the Page of Pentacles as, you know, it's, an, it's a message of some type of an offering uh, of something of value. And the coins can sometimes be about... Um, you know, in the sense of love, <clears throat> it can come across as someone maybe is going to propose something or offer a gift of some sort, a very special gift, okay? Um, and if you're a female listening about your king of pentacles, that could be that energy. But something is, is definitely of high value. Either the king of pentacles is valuing very much a child and very busy with that child in, uh, in July. Or um, he's got some type of a project, a brand new project, or something that's in the beginning youth stages of getting off the ground that he values very much. And he's quite focused on that at this time. Or there is some type of a message of an offer coming in. I just wanted to pull another clarifying card for this. So the Three of Pentacles. So it all gels with the Pentacle stuff that's happening here this as far as something I feel like there's something new a new skill uh, someone is judging a performance of some sort the king of pentacles has something definitely going on that either he's being watched based to uh, you know and judged for certain skills or things that he's doing or he has a child the king of pentacles has a child who he's uh, spending the month of July uh, teaching, very focused on raising this child, could also be um, some type of new offering com coming from the King of Pentacles outwardly, uh, which is something new for him, or something that he's going to do that he hasn't done before, and he may be seeking help trying to uh, figure out a way to go about doing this, if that makes any sense. Definitely calling on assistance from others. Okay, this can even be, the King of Pentacles could even be uh, in a partnership with someone to help raise a child, or perhaps there's adoption. A, someone's trying to adopt a child, or there's a new child that's being taken in in relation to this, this King of Pentacles, whoever it could, you know, it could be a nephew, um, a son, a stepson, things like that. Um, this King of Pentacles could also be starting a new job and placing very high value. He's excited about it, placing very high value on this job. As far as maybe there's a, promo a promotion or an offering, uh, or some of you could receive something tangible like an engagement ring when it comes to love. Uh, King of Pentacles, I feel like, is searching right now to uh, find the perfect ring for some of you. Okay. Well, I was meditating on the Queen of Pentacles, so it's flipped out. So we have the Six of Cups. So Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn female. Someone from your past returning. But, you know, the, the Six of Cups is, is a, 
a very kind gesture, someone reaching out, or it's you who's reaching out in, uh, in July to offer something very kind. You may be sending flowers to someone, or someone is sending them to you, or will be coming to see you, reconnecting with someone from your past. This could also be about children, children meeting each other for the first time. You meeting someone from your past, a childhood friend that you haven't seen in a long time, are they you? This could also be someone is older, much older. Some of you could be reaching out to a little sister. Or you're the little sister. You have an older sibling or a mentor or someone from your past who's reaching out or just sending, sending you something kind or sending some type of message to you um, with love and sincerity. So let me pull another card for that and see what's going on here. Oh. So Six of Pentacles, there you go. Somebody's offering help, charity. So there is this energy, there's someone in your life, or, you're, or you could be, of course, doing this to someone else. You could be helping. Some of you may be involved in church or some type of community or advocacy group of some sort that helps people in their lives or you're part of one and you are receiving from others. There's reciprocity here. There's reciprocity, as a matter of fact, in both these cards because they're both the sixes. And the six in these two cards represents reciprocity. So there's give and take happening here. You, either you will be receiving <coughs> love and money from people who are trying to or wish to help you or there will be offerings and you will be accepting them, or it's vice versa. You may be reaching out to help someone in July. But I feel it, July will be a very generous time, family, friends, lovers, spouse, whichever it could be. And uh, some of you may also be asking for help and receiving it. You will be receiving it in July. Receiving financial help and emotional help, kindness. It's beautiful. It's very beautiful. Um, let me just see if there's anything else coming up for me with the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you could be offered a job as well. If, if any of you are waiting to hear back about a job or a result from some type of institution, whatever it may be, that would put you on the receiving end in prosperity and emotional, spiritual growth. You will get that. Okay, that's it for that. Now let's move over to the King of Swords. So this would be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male. What is the energy for the King of Swords? Oh, okay. So the King of Swords has the Three of Wands. So there is a waiting period in July. Something that the King of Swords has put out into the universe or toward a person or toward an institution he is currently waiting for this to come back now. He's waiting for this return. So some energy that was put out, there's this waiting period, significant in July, a waiting period for something. Let me clarify a little bit more. See what other energies could be or if I could just get a little more information on the Three of Wands. This could have something to do with um, a, a, a three 
three business partnership, three people in a business partnership, or uh, three people involved with the King of Swords that he is waiting for to hear back about something. Some of you could be in some of the you King of Swords or whoever you are listening. <laughs> you could be waiting for um, maybe you're you were in a group text. You could be waiting for texts from from certain people or maybe you were in a group conference call and waiting to hear the results of something from that. I do feel that or or the King of Swords Maybe you brought some people together and to begin something new and you're waiting to see the results of this. Okay, so just as I was saying, this waiting period. Mm. And the hanged man, again, another waiting card. So the king of swords is in waiting mode. Not really, he's not doing anything. He's probably getting a tad bit frustrated because he has to wait. And the hanged man oftentimes would tell you to, if you are the king of swords listening, or you're listening for the king of swords, you want to tell this man this, try to take a unique perspective on the situation. If you find yourself uh, doubting or worried that the answer is not going to come in, um, I'm not necessarily seeing that you'll get your answer or whatever it is that you're waiting for in July, but I do feel that you will be waiting during this time period. The, the hanged man is really talking about accepting where you are right now, accepting your circumstance, what's around you. He hangs upside down. So if you've ever seen, if you've ever hung from a tree upside down, you you can see how everything looks different. I mean, clearly you're aware that you're upside down, but the world looks different from that different point of view. And so that's really the energy of the King of Swords waiting. Uh, maybe there was, maybe something was happening for the King of Swords where he took a different perspective and put some energy out there about a different perspective and waiting to hear the results of that coming back in. You know, kind of similar to saying, well, how about if we do it this way? You know, whatever it may have to do with uh, in career, love, family, friends, whichever it is, some type of different perspective was thrown out there and people are thinking about it. They're thinking it over and they're trying to decide, you know, if it's going to work or if they can make it work. And the King of Swords is waiting to hear back about that. So be patient definitely try to be patient all right queen of swords what's going on with her and yes i do i'm using all the full cards i'm not reshuffling anything here because i feel that the energy that comes out through the cards is what's meant to know i don't feel the need to control these cards in any way however they play out is the that those are the messages okay um so Queen of Swords, what's going on with you? Oh, by the way, if you guys want to get a personal reading from me, all the information is in the description box below. If you're new and you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And you can find all that information below. You can join the community tab to chit chat with me. And uh, of course, leave comments and likes if you like the video. Um, okay, Queen of Swords. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, females. What is the energy? What are the messages for the Queen of Swords? Energy messages for the Queen of Swords. Okay. So I don't usually pull reversals, but she was in the reverse. So the Eight of Swords. Queen of Swords, you are coming out, or she is coming out of an isolated period. Something in July where she was kept down or kept trapped, but she was imposing her own imprisonment. It wasn't anything that anyone else is doing. And it may have seemed or felt like other people 
were trying to trap her in some way, but she's suddenly realizing that she can get free of mental stress or things that are keeping her stuck. Okay, so this realization is, uh, is beginning to happen for her in uh, July. You know, she's realizing that even though these swords are around her, and even though that white cloth is around her, all she needs to do is just, her feet are not bound. So she can scurry over, uh, wriggle herself out, get a sword, and cut away that cloth all on her own. So she's, she's coming to terms with the fact that she really is not a victim in a particular situation. And uh, even though she may feel like she is, and even if she were at one point, she's realizing that she no longer needs to stay in that place. And it's probably too difficult for her to move on with her life if she does portray herself to herself as a victim. And so I feel like Queen of Swords is coming to the end of that. And then that she's realizing suddenly you know, in July, wow, you know, hey, I don't have to stay here anymore. Let me clarify, see what the other energy is. Yeah, she's been in this, um, sometimes the Four of Swords is kind of like the Hermit card to me because it's a time of self-reflection and meditation and isolation. So the Hermit card showing up in my mind, some of you, uh, female air signs may have been involved with a with a Virgo but if that's not the case for you um, you if it is you could have a Virgo who is actually coming out of their uh, desolation as well in July if you've had someone if you've been praying for someone or you've had someone from your past who was struggling I feel like the Sun is coming back into their lives again. Um, you may have been dealing with, or you yourself are in infirmary or hospital, and um, you may be getting good news that you can leave or that you're getting better, okay? Or this other person is getting well, okay? And um, so that's really good news, whoever that person could be. And if it's you, that's excellent. Um, but it's also a time of peace for you and for the other person and or the other person. There's a sense of um, rest. You've had your rest. You needed it. Yeah, I feel like you needed your rest and so and or someone else did. And so the Queen of Swords, she's always truth telling and she's she's honorable and um, You're talking to yourself now, and you're listening to yourself, you know, and you're listening to the positive voices, you know, that are telling you you don't have to stay here anymore, or you're, you're listening to some of you have pastors or priests who are helping you, and they're inspiring you, um, or counselors or good friends. Uh, you're, you're realizing something. It's great. I feel like you're healing. It's what's happening. And or the other person. Even if it's not a Virgo. Whoever it could be. So let's move on to the King of Cups. So the King of Cups would be Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces male. So what is the energy for the King of Cups? Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces male for July 2018. Okay, this popped up. So the Four of Cups in the reverse. So Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces male, water sign, King of Cups, is accepting love offers in July. Okay, whereas before, love may have been offered when the Four of Cups is in the reverse and there was indecision 
or uh, maybe there were many choices and King of Cups couldn't pick one and just decided to ig ignore, you know, or, or King of Cups in the past was interested in three different people and then someone new made a love offer and King of Cups didn't accept, but now in the reverse, King of Cups is accepting a love offer being made and is opening his heart to love during this time. So love doesn't have to necessarily mean that you as a cross watcher were involved with a king of cups and they dumped you and they're accepting a new love offer for from someone else. Um, for some of you, yeah, the harsh reality is, yeah, that could be the case. Um, but it could also resonate in the sense that maybe King of Cups have been closed off for really long and um, just decided it's time to open his heart again to love or you know this could be any kind of love this could be sibling friend uh, someone who cares I don't necessarily feel quite honestly that it's love coming from a, a particular person that the King of Cups is accepting a love offer from. Because when you look at this card, I didn't want to get myself in the camera today because I just didn't feel like it. And I'm going to blur again, so I'll fix it. But when you look at this card, this is not really coming from a person. It's coming like from the air, from the clouds, from the universe. So I feel more strongly when I look at this card that this love offer is coming from, it's like energetic. It's more of a love offer from the world, from God, from, you know, the universe. Something is inclining the King of Cups to want to receive love at this time in their life, okay? Um, something may have happened that caused him to shift. See how it's blurry again? I'm sorry, I'll try to fix it. Oh, so the fool fell out here as I was shuffling. So give me a second here. I just have to redo. I know. So the fool, I'm not going to hold it up again. The fool, this is a risk for the King of Cups. This is not something, I feel like he's jumping into this without thinking really about it. He's really not even thinking about how he feels. He's not thinking about the consequences. He's not thinking about, um, it's kind of careless. I will say that. Um, but then when isn't love careless, right? So we all take that risk and we all do crazy things when love is involved, you know? And so I feel like the for some reason, you know, the King of Cups is usually kind of reserved emotionally. So he is taking a risk in July about uh, taking, making that jump for love during that time period. Um, I just feel like it's, it's more like an epiphany that's happening uh, more than anything else. Just, a, you know, a realization. Or, you know, the King of Cups could have someone also, uh, or someone attached to them realizing this in their lives as well, that it's time for love and is willing to take a risk now. Okay, some of you, if you're listening and you're a King of Cups, you could be a father and, you know, this could be something to do with, say, your daughter. Maybe she was fearful um, for some reason and she's going to take a risk. Maybe she's, you know, I, I know I said that it may not be from somebody, but this, the message just being a direct line to a father-daughter relationship um, that you, King of Cups, perhaps have a daughter or a young female niece um, who is who's been kind of closed off. Maybe there's a relationship between the two of you that has been broken in the past, and now it's going to actually change. There's a shift. Somebody does, something occurs 
that causes one or both to take a jump, take a leap, and just go for it. In the sense of, um, you know, if there was a, a father-daughter relationship happening where you weren't speaking to each other or something like that was going on or there was trouble, um, these doors, I feel like, will open in July to just accept the love again that's being given, okay? But I don't feel that way in the case of relationships, um, man-woman. I feel it's more just being open to love now and enough so to take a, to take a chance, which is great because the King of Cups needed to heal from something, most likely, okay? So... Now we'll go into the Queen of Cups. So Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, female. What is going on for you for July? Oh, these both came out. Okay. So I feel like, so let me tell you what they are. The uh, Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. So I feel like what's happening here is Queen of Cups is working very diligently to pull herself back up, to put herself back in the ring, to get back up and stand up again. Something um, perhaps had her down a little bit, maybe emotionally or physically, and uh, it, or it affected her physically. I'm, I'm seeing for some of you may have lost a job. She may have lost a job and needed to get back up on the horse and try to find new work again. So I feel like that could be for some. There may have been a relationship that ended and she's getting herself back to trying again or the opportunity presents itself to try again, but she's working hard in July to figure out what her next move is or what her next plan of action could be. Because I feel like, um, not necessarily that an, a new opportunity is coming, but I feel this, this strength. She's very focused on um, her work and or, and or putting an effort to make something work. Uh, the, nine of, the nine of wands is, you know, sh there's this energy, this is like the wounded soldier. This is someone who, um, you know, she went as many rounds as she could and battered and bruised, but she took a lot of hits, hard hits, but she's still standing. She's wounded, but she's still standing. And I feel like, for the Queen of Cups, that's her energy really for July. It, it's as, it's as if she's just not going to give up. She's going to keep working. She's going to keep trying, whether that's effort in a relationship or a family situation, love, career, her health. There's this fighting spirit for the Queen of Cups. And it's also a message to that if there's someone else in your life, um, that is also their energy. They're not going to give up. They're going to keep making an effort. They're going to try. And, and if you don't want them to keep doing that, well, surprise, they will be in July. If you've got someone that you're trying to get away from, Queen of Cups, I don't see them giving up. <laughs> um, and if you have someone you're you know, hoping for a return. I mean, they're working very hard. They're fighting very hard for something. I'm not seeing, again, like I said, this is that warrior spirit. So you are another person, of course, or other people. There was some kind of battle the Queen of Cups was involved in. You know, I know it's going to sound strange, but some of you have a neighbor that is really annoying you during this time. <laughs> and when you're at work, 
they are constantly looking over your fence or they are constantly nosing in your business and they're always asking questions neighbor or family constantly somebody and i'm feeling neighbor because i'm just seeing fence and of course <laughs> sometimes these messages are like so literate I just feel like it's like you've got someone who, someone also, some of you, okay, crazy. Some of you have a neighbor who's putting up a very, very tall, large, offensive looking fence between your homes. And it's hideous. And it blocks a view, a nice view, or it's just like, it, or it's someone, a neighbor maybe that you don't get along with, and now they're putting up this fence on purpose to kind of like send you the message, send you a very clear message. And some of you might be that nosy neighbor who's not leaving your neighbor alone, and this is what your neighbor will be doing. <laughs> you know, I know it's just so crazy, but that was just coming. Sometimes this weird mess just, just come to me. And... You know, <clears throat> there's a, there's this energy of working very hard to put that separation um, between you and them, okay, as far as having, you know, that energy of a fence between two homes or some type of a blockage. But, you know, if it's, if it's someone who's building a fence to keep you out, I don't see you giving up. <laughs> and if it's you building a fence to keep your neighbor out... In whatever way, I don't see them giving up. I, they're gonna, they're gonna scale that fence faster than Spider-Man. And um, I just felt the need that I needed to tell you that it's very strange. All right, let's move on to the King of Wands. Okay, so Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. What is the energy for the male fire signs? Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries, male fire signs. Okay, Hierophant. Well, for some of you, this could be, for some, this could mean marriage. Could also mean um, you have someone going to jail, or there's someone you know who's a fire sign who is incarcerated, or uh, someone who's this could be someone who was part of um, a religious group. N some this could be this King of Wands could be um, like a pastor, a religious leader. I don't want to go along the lines of politician um, because that would be more I feel associated with the King of Swords, but. Uh, this can be something to do with an institution and because this is the Hierophant, I'm going to clarify this. I mean, I would have anyway, but I'll double clarify what this message is. Uh, some type of um, a leader, this king of, king of Wands, a leader type. Not necessarily like a boss, but he's praised. Um, he's humble. Okay, the Three of Cups in the reverse. So, the message I'm getting is this King of, King of Wands is not who he appears to be. Um, he is coming across, to then this is for some of you, he's coming across as this altruistic, uh, noble leader, but in the meantime, he is... You know, if this is you guys, you King of Wands, <laughs> um, get your act together because you're going to get caught. This is drinking. This is partying too much. This is um, multiple affairs, kind of like um, carelessness in um, your affairs with people, King of Wands. That's what I feel like, uh, perhaps with a lot of different women, because these are all the females. In the revert, uh, in the upright, this would just be, you know, community celebration, things like that. And some of you are, but I feel like, uh, or I know, that when the Three of Cups is in the reverse, this can mean 
uh, quite the opposite. It's still community and celebrating with friends and, and people, but it can mean cheating and it, or, and or it can mean affairs. Um, so whoever, if you're pretending to be something that you're really not, or you're giving off the impression that you are greater than the sum of your parts, people are seeing it. And I don't want to go, like I said, I don't want to say narcissism or an egocentric human being, male, uh, because I'm not picking that up with these, you know, the Hierophant course is not like that. In the reverse, he could be. Um, but, you know, it's kind of contrasting to have the Hierophant here um, and then have all this mayhem here. <laughs> so it's kind of like putting on the presentation that he is such a noble person, but then he's, you know, out of the clubs every night drinking and having sex with lots of women. So it's kind of like, eh, what's going on? And so, um, but it could also be some, some of the King of Wands could be incarcerated for, you know, um, some serious issues with women. It could have something to do with that. Could also be that the King of Wands really is looking for a partnership or a marriage, and but he's out there, um, you know, in the clubs trying to find his girly girl, and he's not going to find her there, you know. He's or he's, you know, you know. I don't want to go along the lines of cheating and all, but because I like to tell you that. For some of you, uh, you know, or you ha or you fire sign male have someone who's doing this. But if, if you if you know for a fact that your your partner is cheating, then that's great. I mean, I don't mean it's great, but I mean then you have the facts. But if you have a hunch, you're not sure, and you're coming for a tarot card reading, I always advise you know get your facts first. Even if you're having difficulty getting them, there's ways to find out, and. You definitely need to confirm things first. So, you know, if you're a male and you're listening to this male fire sign and, and, and you think you hear me saying that your significant other is cheating, please don't go to them and say, hey, I heard this reading. And, and they said, it's kind of like someone who wakes up from a dream that their spouse is cheating and then they start knocking them over the head. You know, it's a very general tower reading. So I don't want to encourage you to, to, to that in that direction, okay? Um, but I will say that I need to clarify one more time. So, King of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Okay. Mm. It's interesting. So, the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse represents someone who is, or the energy of someone who, you know, is not single. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, or is just very needy. Or someone who is not independent. Um, they, they produce the energy of being that way. But this person is quite self-reliant on others. And um, can be a bit greedy and selfish at times. You know, in the upright, the Nine of Pentacles is, you know, that energy of someone who is self-reliant, takes care of themselves, they have money in the bank, they, you know, they, they don't mind their single life. But I feel like this King of Wands is not happy in a situation or, or some type of a partnership or, or even if the King of Wands is single, I don't want to say he's looking for a single female. I don't feel like he's, I, it's weird, the message coming through is very strange. Give me a second, I need to clear myself here. King of Wands may have someone, if he is noble, if he is someone who is altruistic and not hiding it and being that way inside and out, he's attracting a lot of females, even married females, or women who are very greedy or very inconsistent 
and incapable of taking care of themselves. So the message for you, King of Wands, is that if you are a very religious person or someone who's very spiritual or cares very much about um, other people, you're attracting quite a handful of people who do not have good intention toward you. And so be very careful if you're looking to be in a partnership with someone. Uh, be careful of the people that you, the company that you keep, or those who may come across to you as being the same as you, but they, their hidden predicament or agenda or narrative is different than what they say. Okay, so <laughs> I didn't even need to ask for this Queen of Wands. These cards just popped out, so they're like, this is the next message. Boom. So the Queen of Wands, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, female. Uh, okay, so the Hermit is here along with the um, Six of Wands. So so y you fire sign females could be dealing with a Virgo as well. It's weird how it just kind of fell along in the Queens when I was talking about the Queen of Swords. So you could be dealing with um, a very hush-hush type of a person. Um, they have some kind of um, victory coming to them, but they're not telling you during this time. They're keeping this a secret right now. Um, they may not even be sure they deserve it. They're actually analyzing to see if they deserve something. <laughs> That's well, well earned. Um, it could also be that you guys are keeping something quiet about some type of um, maybe award you're going to receive or you're waiting or hoping that you're going to get something soon that you're hoping that you'll be receiving because you haven't uh, heard anything yet. Some of you Queen of Wands are also working very diligently to not be egocentric or full of yourselves. Uh, you're trying to cross that fine line. Uh, some of you are a fire sign slash earth sign. So you're on the cusp of Leo and Virgo. Um, I do see some type of victory coming to you. However, that may relate to you. There's people who are going to be awarding this victory to you, but currently they are processing. Maybe you are or were involved in some type of competition of some sort, or you had uh, something. It could even be for a job. You may have put in resumes for work or um, waiting for the results on a test, um, whatever it may be. Or you are, you're waiting for some type of a result for something. And the people that are making the determination of this result are, um, this just popped out, uh, they're determining whether you're going to get it or not. They're looking at everyone else, they're looking around, they're looking at contestants, they're looking at um, the results of the test, they're looking at other uh, applicants to see uh, who qualifies. And I feel with the, this page of wands that popped out, you will be receiving positive news. You'll be receiving messages. At, and this is like an action message card. So you may, you know, you'll get something in the mail. Um, this could also have you waiting to hear about something to do with a child. Right? Uh, waiting to hear back from a child that maybe you haven't spoken to or uh, you haven't seen or something or a reward or maybe you have a child that was involved in some type of a contest or a sport and waiting to hear back positive news. There is victory here. There is, you know, reward for this. So, you know, it's just this hermit card has you in, you know, waiting mode. You're, 
I see you, you know, did we, did we send in all the right papers? Did I, did I do this? Did I do that? Did I, did I organize everything? Did I get it in the way they wanted it? Did I say what needed to be said? Did we do this? Did we do that? You know, that kind of energy is happening and everything is being looked over in July for you to hear back either about this child or about yourself. Um, so I feel like it's it's really just the message too for you to uh, try not to get on your high horse too much. <laughs> not that you would ever do that uh, because I know you are so confident but um, try to stabilize yourself um, even though I'm telling you you're going to get it. Try to stabilize yourself about this situation um, so that you don't fall off your proverbial horse here and uh, just be patient and wait. Now I'm going to pull some angel oracle cards you know and just know that as i was saying earlier this could have to do with love or career schooling education finance children family friends spouses things like that so whatever it is that you um are reflecting on or waiting for or someone is making you wait for something to hear back for something you will get the message and it will be positive it will be in your favor so what is the I'm going to give a love message for all of the signs for um, July from the Romance Angels Oracle deck. And again, I will show you one more time this box of cards. That's all it says. It just says tarot. Um, I can't read, you know, anything of who it's from because it's all in Chinese. So. For those of you who just bypassed everything, this is the deck. And if you comment and ask me, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll try and put it um, in the description box of what the deck, but I don't know how to help you. I'll just tell you where to get it. There you go. Okay, so what are the angel oracle messages for all of the signs? Oh, these just fell out. Okay, we're gonna take them before I even finished. Oh, three of them fell out. Okay. How about I just pull one for each sign? I think that would be better. So we have the pentacles, swords, cups, and now one more for fire. What do we have for fire? Okay. So for the uh, pentacles, male and female, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, allow your heart and, and soul to sing with joy. A lot of passionate energy for July, for love. And, um, you know, I don't want to go into interpreting that card too much, but the advice really is that whatever's happening to you, whatever's coming to you, whatever new thing you're doing, celebrate whatever your passions are, whatever's happening, celebrate this. Whatever's going on with you, whether you are, you know, people are helping you, as I was saying, or you're dealing with a child or you're starting something new, follow your passion, allow your heart to be happy. And some of you are starting out on a singing career. Allow yourselves to sing. So, so for the swords, you have romantic feelings for love right now. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So it's very simple. Try not to, um, don't ignore them. Whatever's going on with you, don't ignore how you're feeling. Like in a very basic nutshell way, I could say it. So for the cups, this uh, wedding thing here, and I think I was talking about that with the king of cups. For some male king of cups, if you have a daughter who's getting married, the situation does involve marriage. Or, um, you know, the queen of cups, maybe you're building a fence between you and your spouse, and they just won't leave you alone. They're going to climb your wall. The situation involves marriage. It doesn't necessarily mean it's positive or negative. It really just depends on your situation. Okay, um, so if it, in the positive sense, you're married to someone and uh, there's a significance to your spouse 
in some way, positive or negative, or um, somebody else's spouse, or uh, you know, if you're if if you're single, this could be a wedding on the on the horizon as well. Okay, so for the fire signs, you have to make an effort for something this month. Even though for your Queen of Wands, I told you to just be patient. Um, be patient. You've put in the effort, and for the King of the King of Wands, um, great love is taking the steps you're guided to take. So, as I was saying, if you've got people coming in who are just not presenting themselves as who really who they should be, you know, um, it's okay for you to like diligently find out, do your due, due diligence to protect yourself, and that goes for all signs. Um, you don't want to walk around with chains and a shell around your heart, but it's okay for you to say no if there's someone that you just get a bad vibe about. So whatever the situation is, um, for love. Okay, so that was your reading. I hope that that was long enough. My goodness, almost an hour. I, I don't think I've ever done an hour reading on YouTube. Um, but... Thank you so much for listening. I do hope that you enjoyed this reading. It was fun. I'm happy I had a little bit of time to do it. And uh, again, check the description box if you would like to get a reading from me. And I hope you have a very blessed July. Now I'll talk to you soon. All right, thanks. Bye.